there is something known as exhausting the alternatives. There is a concept known as exhausting the alternatives. The Quran says, this is from God. If you don't believe in it, you tell me what it is from. You tell me from where it is. The Quran says, this book is from God. This book is from Allah. If you disagree, you give me the answer. So someone will say, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he wrote the Quran. And we proved earlier he didn't write. He lied. Why did he lie? Because of material gains. And we proved it's not possible. Maybe for power and glory. And we proved that's not possible. Maybe for unity of the Arabs. And we proved that's not possible. Someone will say, okay, did for moral reformation. And we proved it's not possible. Guess, guess. Okay, he copied from the Bible. And we proved it is wrong. Guess. When all your guesses are proved wrong, that means the Quran requires to be heard. It requires respect. You have to believe in it that this book, Quran, is from Almighty God. And Quran says in several places that this book is a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, including Surah Jasha, chapter number 45, verse number 1 and 2, where it says, Ha Meem, Tanzeerul Kitabu bin Allahi, Azizul Hakim. That ha meem, this is a revelation of the book from the Lord of the worlds, exalted in power and full of wisdom. The Quran says in several places that this book is the book of Almighty God. It's mentioned in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 19. Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 93. It's mentioned in Surah Yusuf, chapter number 12, verse number 1 and 2. In Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 113. It is mentioned in Surah Sajda, chapter number 32, verse number 1 to 3. In Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 1 to 3. It's mentioned in Surah Azumur, chapter number 39, verse number 1. In Surah Ghafir, chapter number 40, verse number 2. It's mentioned in Surah Jasha, chapter number 45, verse number 2. It is mentioned in Surah Rahman, chapter number 55, verse number 1 and 2. It's mentioned in Surah Insan, chapter number 76, verse number 23, that this book, the glorious Quran, is from none other but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is known as exhausting the alternatives. What you have, you give. You try it out. If you fail to prove it logically, then you have to agree with what is mentioned. 